So someone put Mothman in their window, and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman! I love college. The angle of this photo implies that OP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? Advantages to wearing oversized sweaters. An instant cute outfit with minimal outfit. It enhances the coziness when you drink hot beverages. Sweater balls are guaranteed to make you feel 43% more adorable. And you can unbutton your jeans and no one will know. The disadvantages to wearing oversized sweaters... Guys think they're totally not cute, lol. The day I dress for a man is the day they dress me in my coffin to see Jesus. Also, um... Says you, East Coast Breeze. Physically, I am present, but mentally, I am face down in a pool while this year by the mountain goats play on loop in the background. Things just keep happening. Yeah. Society. Blue is for boys and pink is for girls. Me. I am the gender non conforming lobster. Gender non conforming lobster is my new aesthetic. Me looking at photos of my boo. I misread this as my dog. I mean, that's better. I have this headcanon that the Warners have specific limits to their powers. Like Dot is whimsical humor, Wacko is physical humor, and Yako... Yako can just do about anything. I love not knowing who 95% of celebrities are now. Like every day someone new is trending, I go, I don't know who the fuck this is! And then move on. I love that. Leonardo DiCaprio date a woman over 25 challenge. I thought that said Leonardo da Vinci and was confused since da Vinci was gay, and also since you were calling out someone who's been dead for well over seven years. Well, da Vinci has been dead for well over seven years, so I'll give you that. Oh, this is the grunch. Me refusing to leave Tumblr. Sir, this is my emotional support hell site. Sensor bot, beep boop, sensor bot approved. Me refusing to leave. Sir, this is my emotional hell. <sighs> Me refusing to leave, sir, this is my emotional hell is a funnier text post than my original one. Good job, Sensorbot. So here's the game plan. I get 12 identical cats. I name them all Steve. So nobody I invite over will know which Steve they're petting. I then train them all to come over when their name is called. And then I convince someone I only have one cat named Steve. And then I tell them to call for him. A dozen identical Steves will then erupt from around the house to which I scream in terror. Oh god, no, he's multiplied again! And watch as the poor person panics while being surrounded by 12 different Steves. I love everything about this. Paranormal investigator? <sighs> no, I'm a paranormal instigator. I'm haunting your house and I'm here to start shit! This is German Kindergarten. Every building built mainly for children should be this fucking weird. I can't even imagine how much happier my memories of early childhood would be if I could look back at having gone into kindergarten in a big old cat. Yeah. Jesters also had a vital role to play in the battles themselves. In the early Middle Ages, their job was to wage psychological warfare. What the fuck? Reading about jester history, I wanted to share this with you all. Oh, is that what shock chocks are? Fun fact! Face masks are made in such a way that water can't pass through the tiny holes in it! The source? I forgot to remove my mask before drinking water. My stupidity is immeasurable. Skeletons aren't scary. We're filled with pulsing, oozing meat. And y'all think the skeletons are scary? The meat's scary! The meat! It's midnight and this tweet is giving me a heart attack. FEAR THE MEAT!